From Must Be Nice, this is Day by Day, the new series of stories inspired by our new normal. Today's episode comes from writer Abby Rose Brock and stars Marin Ireland, Alice Lee, and Michael Cyril Creighton. This is Breathing in Mango. Mm. All right. Penguin, you not to be trusted. Oh, hello. I will take a bark ticket, thank you. For all. Okay, I'm gonna fish in that lake now. Post is at six feet. Huh? Social distance. Oh, sorry. Is this... Was I not... I mean, that's maybe six feet, but... I can move farther. Uh, Might as well be respectful. Safe than sorry. Especially since ain't neither of us got a mask on. Right, yeah. I don't don't have any masks, so... The fan was uh, kind of freezing my ears, but I can turn it on again if... I don't tend to notice temperature, so... Okay, well, let me know. Yeah, I really don't care. What kind of music? It's too loud. I just wondered. Sing where you mingle with creatures. Sorry? This thing on my phone where you mingle with creatures. It's a game for adults. I mean, kids could play it too, but... You basically create an existence from scratch with like whatever you dream up and make. So there's a ton of nature, there's relationships, furniture. Creatures are mostly all sweet in the woods. These are characters? It's animals that's involved, so low drama. Huh. Like I'm up to my eyeballs in debt, but it's too a rhinoceros, so. And you can do crafts, which I suck at in life. See my fishing boat? Huh? Oh, cute. I don't need to fool with it. Oh, you don't have to. I mean, to. it's like my therapy. That's why I got here early to play it in peace, but... Well, maybe you can just turn the sound off and... Why are you here so early? I uh, just need it out of the house. You been to one of these before? Nope. Never have. Same. The website didn't say it's canceled, but... They need to cancel because of COVID-19. I knew they weren't going to, though. But you came anyway? I mean, I have to be here. I don't have a choice, so... I didn't mean to make you turn your game off. You can... My boyfriend almost died from an overdose Wednesday. Fiance. God, I'm so sorry. And I'm pregnant, so... His mom's up my ass. She's been to all these, done the workshops, we in all the Facebook groups. Of course, he's fucking asleep. Congrats on the pregnancy. That's... See my little fat-ass muffin top? Oh, you don't look... I can't see Trina shooting him up with naloxone, though, if it came to it. For all her talk. Trina's your partner's mom? She thinks I'm gonna pick up her slack. Which, you know, in sickness and hell. I figured they'd give us the nasal spray. Huh? Well, you said shooting him up. Yeah. Isn't the narc on a spray? We get both. Oh, okay. Phew. <laughs> in the kit, we gonna get two syringes and the spray, so... I mean, I'll learn both, but... I probably know what all they're gonna tell us from Trina and people at work. Oh, do you work in, like... Who's your addict? Um, hmm? Who are you here for? Because you don't look like... My aunt is... <clears throat> I think is using, so... I mean, I, I know she is. Do you live with her? Well... Yeah, I guess I do now. <laughs> First time I've said that. Why? Y'all got drama? Oh, no. There's just... Not a lot of us left in my family, so... I lived with her a couple years after Mom died. Before college then, you know. We kept in touch time to time. Where'd you go to college? New Jersey. Damn! You serious? 22 years up there. That's fucking awesome! Is it? What you mean, is it? New Jersey. I only ever lived here, girl. I work at McDonald's. Well, they have those in Jersey. There's no way you moved your ass up there, got you a degree just to work at McDonald's. Sure, no, I mean, you know, it wasn't easy. Still? Ever. Like, uh, well, I almost 
<clears throat> actually did some softcore uh, cam girl type, you know, technically sex work a few years ago, so. Like somebody made you get naked on camera? I mean, nobody, nobody made me. It just would have been like a way to build. It was just like a dumb branding thing I considered real briefly, but no, yeah, I had a, I had a good time. Good career, more or less. Y'all got an economy there. True, sure, I mostly made ends meet with music. That's more than most artists can say. You know you was living the dream up there, girl. Broke up my band when I left this year. That was, God. How'd your aunt get her tentacles in? I wouldn't put it like that. Start calling you up all the time, texting you guilt trips, like just when your life's going good. Sob stories, money shit. Uh, partly, I guess, that dynamic was there. I hate it. Always same thing with these people, same bullshit. This is a capital too. What's that word? What? What word? Epicenter. This the bullshit epicenter. Named after engines don't even live here. Well, I grew up near Mingo County. This place is a part of me, so. Okay, Hallmark. No, really, this feels like, you know, the next chapter for me on my journey. It feels in alignment. Let's shut up just a sec. What's your name? Oh, so sorry. I'm Leisha. I'm Misty. Hi, Misty. Leisha, I consider tracking down a mask and gloves and hop on that plane back to Jersey. Don't tempt me. Uh uh, I'm not joking, Leisha. Do not waste your education on this shithole. Hey. That's offensive to me. You would do that. Then maybe let's not talk about it. You even got a job in all this COVID shit? <sighs> no, not yet, but um, I follow all these local businesses on Instagram. I'm forging those relationships, which. I heard they're gonna shut down the borders, state borders for Corona. Who knows what, though? You seen The Handmaid's Tale? No, that one slipped through the cracks. That thing? That's like every West Virginia pastor's dream, I'm telling you. I'm not a church person. Don't matter. You stick around here? My uncle, brother, future mother-in-law. I blocked the damn Hulu from Trina so that bitch don't watch The Handmaid's Tale. I know she'll start defending how they treat them girls. I said, Trina, you a stereotype. She don't care. Loves an atrocity, Trina. I mean, she must be fairly open-minded if she comes to these workshops. Oh, comes to her son? Needle exchanges, decarceration, bleeding heart all over Facebook. She's the harm reduction queen, but watch out, because with people she don't know, full of hatred. Still. Which, that's a case study. Everyone here now. Come on. You seen me glued to that creature game, Leisha. I try to forget I got pregnant. And you ain't been around these last few years with the zombies. People ODing all over the park now, downtown, so Samaritans come by and save them, dial up 911. I said, Steve, I get wind you pull that strategy in public, I'll kill you myself. Which he knows. And he's not to that point yet. Is, um, is The Handmaid's Tale good? Just as a show? Leisha, you ain't gonna wanna be in West Virginia when this whole corona shit gets bad, I'm telling you. I think the whole country's fucked. Go be around people whose brains work. Jersey's got its own issues. At least maybe there's Canadians up there. Because that's what I'd do. I'd find a Canadian, get my ass pregnant. Why don't you? I'm already pregnant. Amnesia. Well, you could still... You could move there yourself. Sounds like you're drawn to it. How? I've never seen a person so excited when I said New Jersey. I'm a wife and mother, thank you. You're not either one yet. Don't look pregnant. And if you don't believe in, you know, you could be a single mom. I always regret telling people my business. I was just correcting a statement you made. You're still free to- You think because you got on a tunic from the fucking gap, you're in a place to tell me how to live my life? You just told me how to live mine. Well, all I'ma say, special place in hell for people who abandon loved ones just because they addicts. I don't believe you believe that. Fuck off then. You want me in hell? You said to abandon my aunt, and you seem to hate. You seem exhausted with all of it. I've been left Steve. Our families. (sighs) I'd die. There'd be shame on my head. And you must feel that way with your aunt. Nope, no, I don't think so. I don't even know if I love her. It's just my turn to help. Your aunt's not a project. She'll ruin your life. She's not that. You know how to shoot a gun in case somebody breaks in? You're saying all the things my friends in Jersey said. You go to Al-Anon? I know all about it. Well, you need to go. That's your church now. 
No thanks. You move in with an addict, you're gonna need support. I did the 12 step thing years ago, it wasn't for me. Why? Too culty. Which 12 step? Just one for like women who sleep with their bosses. All right, damn, okay. Yeah, everyone else there was toxic. Well, you're dealing with opioids now, that's the big leagues. I know. You do not take up residence with a heroin addict without joining a group. Trust me, I've read every memoir You don't I need could... those culty, toxic people when your aunt's cleaned out your savings. I don't have any savings, and it's pills with her, not heroin. That's a dumbass distinction. Happy Saturday. Not heroin yet. All right, I was hoping we'd have some attendees this evening. You are aware coronavirus made it here this week. Misty, you see these hands bleeding? I got the stigmata from washing my hands so much. Ew, oh, wow. that's gross. Get them out of my face. Y'all sing the Jolene chorus washing y'all's hands? What? Every wash you sing the chorus twice so the germs got time to die. Huh. Cool. Ain't that awesome? Wes, I didn't know you was running tonight. Just got trained. So this makes what, like 20 volunteer groups you part of? Nine. Y'all know each other? He took me to prom. She threw up on my dress slacks. Yep. I'm Leisha. Hey, Ms. Leisha, ma'am. I'm Weston. And I'm about to pee my pants if I don't run go use that restroom. Go. Don't open the kits yet. Okay. Nice to meet you. Y'all, please talk over my tinkling, please. You think I'm white trash, so you don't trust my word. But I swear on the cross, you ain't over your head. Bitch. You want to get out of here, but you're attached to a setting you hate because you're scared and you even got pregnant to have an excuse not to leave. If you don't go back to Jersey, go to Al-Anon. Not just for you, for your aunt, but mostly for you, because she'll drive you insane. I'll think about it. I almost lost my damn mind. Go to Jersey. Excuse me? I'll join a group if you visit New Jersey. Psh. My place is empty through April. Stay for free, sublet, whatever feels right, but just stay long enough to think through everything. What if I get stuck up there? You want to get stuck up there? We can coordinate. Okay, who is ready for some education? I am. Miss Misty? Yeah, me, I guess. I am. Woo! <sighs> Why the hell not? Today's episode was produced by myself, Jamie Dolan, and Adam Faiz, with sound mixing and design by Beckett Cerny and an original score from Luca Closer. Special thanks to Lib Barrer and Ken Lee, and an additional special thanks to Christ Hanover for our animation. Tune in Friday for an all-new episode. <laughs>